Hey, it's Noah here, back for another devlog of Chef RPG. I've been pretty busy this past month working on this game, and I want to show you guys some of the progress made. But before that, I want to quickly discuss my reason for making this game, sources of inspiration, and vision going forward, since I think I neglected to discuss that in the first devlog. This game is a passion project that combines my love for art, architecture, and food. A source of inspiration is Gordon Ramsay's Great Escape TV show. Basically, Gordon Ramsay goes to different countries to learn about their food culture, and along the way, he travels into the wilderness to collect rare, delicious ingredients to create some really awesome food. I really wanted that aspect of collecting ingredients in the wild to be included in the game. Another goal I had for this game is to create a really unique aesthetic. I want to make a style that is consistent and cohesive throughout the game, so a lot of the artwork will probably be altered in the end. I wanted to use this opportunity to design some really unique landscapes and urban environments. I'm currently looking into a variety of artistic movements including jazz, neon, cyberpunk, and archigram as sources of inspiration. And if you don't know what archigram is, it was an architecture movement from the 60s that focused on machinery, neo-futurism, and a pro-consumerist world. I think the imagery of archigram is quite spectacular and this movement influenced a lot of modern architecture that we have today. I think that the ideas and aesthetic of Archigram fit quite well with the themes of Chef RPG. I was really inspired by the farming simulator Stardew Valley. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the farming genre. I think there are great games, but I just really hate watering plants. Now that I think about it, that's pretty much the only barrier keeping me from playing more. Watering aside, I think Stardew Valley is quite an amazingly designed game that gives off a really great gameplay feel. The majority of players would agree that this game is really relaxing and cheerful and is a great way to de-stress after a long day. That is the sort of feeling I hope to achieve with Chef RPG. It should be a relaxing and enjoyable game that players can freely explore. A game that you can pick up and stop anytime you wish. So yeah, that's the general idea for the game. Maybe I will get some new ideas along the way as I go. If you guys have any thoughts or ideas you want to share, feel free to comment below. Now back to the progress. I've continued to work towards finishing the systems needed to create the restaurant gameplay. Here, I've managed to add some animated NPCs. There are male and female humans, as well as male and female androids, all of which are available choices when you create your character. I still haven't gone around to rigging clothing and hair animations, so I'll probably do that next. For the restaurant, the goal is that the customers will eventually be randomly generated using a combination of bodies, hairstyles, and clothing, so they will all look unique. Currently, the AI just walks around and sometimes sits down. The eating animation has been added, but these guys don't have any food yet, so they just look like they're eating air. Eventually, you will be able to hire staff that prepares and delivers food to the customers. I'm not sure how much player interaction there should be during the service, so I'll probably do some testing and hopefully get a gameplay mechanic that feels fun. Another aspect I worked on is that I added a refrigerator system for storing food. To use ingredients during service, you have to place them in the fridge. Then, if I come here and open up the restaurant manager, you can access the ingredients and see what dishes are available. This UI will control everything related to running the restaurant. From the main panel, you can decide which recipes to include in your menu. I've begun creating some food art for each individual dish, so players will be greeted by some nice artwork of delicious looking food every time they mouse over a recipe. To add more recipes, you can collect them in various parts of the game. And if you just click on the item, you get a little unlock animation telling you which new recipe has been unlocked. Now, if I go back to the manager, you will see that I don't have enough ingredients for some of the dishes. To fix this, you would just go to the fridge and upgrade it and get more storage spaces. Eventually, in the real game, it would take some time to earn enough money to make this upgrade. The fridge looks a little fancier and gains some more storage slots. And now, I can place more ingredients inside.
Opening up the manager once again, all of the dishes are now available. If the ingredients are available, you can just click them to add them or remove them from the menu. I set some limits on the amount of dishes you can have in the menu just to keep everything manageable for the player. I added an extra feature that allows you to change what kind of restaurant you want to run. So currently it's set to restaurant mode. I can also set it to say tea house mode which changes your menu limits. In this case it removes main courses and instead adds more spaces for desserts and drinks. You can also select social house, pub or confectionery which gives the player just a lot of options for what kind of restaurant they want to run. Hopefully in the future the operation mode will affect other aspects of the gameplay beyond just the menu limits. I really want to make these kind of choices feel more substantial for the player and allow for unique gameplay experiences each time. So that's pretty much it for the restaurant. Uh, there's a few more systems I need to implement and then I can start on the main restaurant gameplay. One of which is to add significant characters that you can befriend and hire to work in your restaurant. Now, one final thing I worked on was implementing shops. Here, if I go back to the bubble shack, you can go now and buy and sell items. All of the merchants will be significant characters that you will be able to develop friendships or relationships with. I'm planning to create some unique character art for each character you meet in the game. Here, I can click to buy items. For selling items, I created a pop-up inventory which I think is more convenient than opening the entire character panel. If you click on items in the inventory, they will be sold to the vendor. And if I just walk away or press escape, the shop UI will close. I discussed in the last video that I wanted shops to be dynamic and sell different items each day. I wrote a script so that the shops in the game will restock themselves at 4am and make a dice roll to determine which items will be sold. Now if I just wait here past 4am, the shop restocks itself and now sells a different set of ingredients. I think this mechanic will encourage players to visit shops more frequently and also encourage more frequent menu changes in the restaurant. So yeah, that's the progress so far. If you have any thoughts or suggestions about the game, I'd be more than happy to hear the ideas below. Hopefully I can show you the restaurant gameplay in the next devlog. I'm also looking at creating a character creation system, so the next time the characters won't all be naked and will all look unique. Hopefully, I can go back to doing more art and design soon and really dive in and create a really unique style and atmosphere for the game. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more and hope to see you again soon. Bye!